Hello everyone! It's the end of the day and I was so excited when I was recording today's episode that I completely forgot to do an intro. So here's the intro. We're making stockings today. Last year when we moved we had all of our stuff in storage and mice and rats decided to get into our storage unit and basically destroy anything that was warm and fuzzy. So our stockings were warm and fuzzy. So in today's episode, I'm going to take you with me in downstairs to the kitchen where my main hub is, and I'm going to show you what stockings I'm going to be making for the four of us. It's me, my husband, and the two kids. I didn't have enough material or time to get to the dog's stockings, but that's okay. That can be on the back burner for next year, and they won't mind. They'll get lots of carrots and cucumbers for Christmas. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for stopping by. Anytime I go to the secondhand store, I always go to where they have bed sheets and pillowcases and whatnot. And I saw this super, super cool bed sheet. It's a flat sheet and it's all Super Mario stuff. So it's got the mushroom. It's got this shell thing from a turtle. It's got these, I don't know, whatever this is. It's got a star on it. And I thought it was such a cool looking bed sheet that I didn't know what I was gonna do. I, I didn't know what I was gonna do with it, but I knew I had to have it because eventually I would use it for something. How cool would it be if the kids had Christmas stockings made from this material? And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. I'm working on my island today because it's the biggest, flattest surface. It's way higher than my dining room table and it's also huge. So I'm going to do the template out and we're going to get going. So what I'm going to do is I've got Christmas music playing on in the background. I'm going to use my husband's boot as a, an, a way to kind of figure out what the width is. And then over here, I'm just going to kind of cut off the toe as best as I can. I'm going to use the curve of the arch and then just come down to, I don't know, just come down at some point and then use the heel as kind of like a down point too and maybe end off somewhere here. And once I have this template, I'm gonna be able to use this to figure out everything else. since I sold something <sighs> long enough for me to realize that I made a stocking that I can't get into. Not a big deal. I just cut off the top. It's not that bad. If this is the worst thing that happens today, that's pretty good. Now that I have this all sorted, I'm going to use this as a template. I'm not going to flip it over and start doing that top part, but essentially that's going to go on the top there like that and I have no idea how I'm going to do the top section but it's essentially going to look like that and I think that'll look super cute.
pieces of material that I'm going to use to be able to hang up the stockings. I know my kids are going to go absolutely bananas over this material and thank goodness I had enough for not only the two stockings, but I thought, what an amazing stocking stuffer if I made a pillowcase for each of the kids and put it inside the stocking. I'm so excited for this project. I can't wait to see their faces. I just finished the first pillowcase and it looks awesome. Now the back of this has a seam, but that's okay. Ooh, I gotta fix that. That's coming apart. But we're gonna have this on the bottom, so it really doesn't matter. But other than that, I love the way that this turned out. It looks so cute. This is the result of the stockings. And what I did on the inside was I made little strips like this and I just sewed them in a zigzag pattern right here on the inside. And I just ironed all of these guys. I had a little bit of a pencil mark and I just erased that. But these are how the kids ones came out. And look how cute they look. The other side looks just as cute, but I tried to get as many of the little animals or whatever you call these things in there as well. Yeah. What are these emojis? Or I don't know. They're things. They're Oh, okay. Anyways, these doohickeys. <laughs> and that's the other kids. And this is my husband's. And this turned out, this is actually by far my favorite because of the pattern at the top. And I just wrapped it around. I didn't have enough to go all the way around the outside, but no one's going to look at the back. So at least I'm not. And that's how it's going to hang. And then I made his little hook out of the same material. I had just enough for that. And again... I did a little zigzag on the inside and that is my scrappy project for this year. And I think it's a great success. Thanks again for hanging out with me in the kitchen. It's not a cooking video, but this is what I do sometimes. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today in my kitchen, sewing, not cooking, and make sure you have some fun in the kitchen and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.